Hey, you're listening to Witchy Spiritual Stuff with your host, me, Elementally. And today we're talking about something pretty interesting. I'm going to teach you how to manifest a boyfriend in five easy steps. And when I say boyfriend, I mean boyfriend, girlfriend, doesn't matter. Just a little SEO thing. All right. Who doesn't dream of true love? At the very least, daydream about meeting and attracting the man of their dreams. And then, of course, living happily ever after. That's what I learned growing up on Disney movies and fairy tales, anyway. You may laugh, but what if I told you that our beloved Disney Disney princesses were actually on to something? Dreaming and daydreaming about the one, staying positive all through your life, and everything sort of falling into place... Don't all of those sound pretty familiar to anybody who manifests? Look, before I get into the nitty gritty of how to manifest a boyfriend or, you know, a loving relationship, let's go over the basics of manifestation real quick. What is manifestation? Well, the core of manifestation hinges on the belief that we can intentionally cultivate our dreams into reality through our thoughts, actions, intent, energy, and belief. The power of positive thinking, as many people say. Manifestation shares concepts with the law of attraction. We attract what we're feeling and thinking. Manifesting is sending out positive energy and visualizing your goals into reality. If you're constantly feeling down and thinking you'll never get a boyfriend, then that's what's going to happen. But if you're approaching life like a Disney princess, putting out your positive vibes, staying optimistic about romance, and visualizing your dream boyfriend, then it's not going to be long before all your wishes come true. I've got five beginner-friendly steps to help you manifest the boyfriend or girlfriend or person of your dreams. So let's get down to the good stuff. First and foremost, you're going to decide on what you want and why you want it. The first step is to get a very clear view of your goals and plant the seed of intent. The what in this step is a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever you want. You can still be more specific though. Ask yourself what kind of relationship you want. What kind of person do you want to be with? What, who are you hoping to attract? Next, you're going to need to answer these whys. Why do you want a relationship and why now? Your answers to these questions can determine whether you're ready for a relationship in the eyes of the universe. Be honest with me. If your reason for wanting to have a boyfriend is to make someone jealous or to get revenge on someone, are you going to be giving out and attracting the right kind of positive vibes? No freaking way. But if your underlying reason for wanting to attract a guy is because you feel ready for it, and you want to experience a loving partnership, then that's the kind of energy the universe will respond to positively. Now, the next thing you're going to do is visualize and embody it. Visualization is a large part of manifestation. Visualize what it would feel like to be in a loving relationship. Embody the feeling of being in love and how good it feels in your everyday life. Make many movies in your mind. Play it on loop and get yourself excited about having a significant other. Remember, in manifestation, your energy is what cultivates and attracts your reality. There's countless ways you can visualize and embody your intent. There's the TikTok viral 369 manifestation, which draws upon the power of numbers. This manifestation technique involves writing your intent three six, and nine times in the morning, afternoon, and evening, respectively. You can also try the pillow method, where you write down your affirmations or manifesting statements and sleep on them by putting them under your pillow. I really like journaling and using vision boards as a way to channel my energy, but you should just try them all out and do whichever one works for you. Manifestation is pretty personal like that. Next, you're going to need to get rid of your limiting beliefs. Get rid of any negative thoughts and notions about having a boyfriend, manifesting a boyfriend, 
or just getting into a loving relationship. Limiting beliefs are the negativity that surrounds you and constrains you. If you know what positive affirmations are, then this is easy. Limiting beliefs are the exact opposite of positive affirmations. And positive affirmations are exactly what you need to counter your limiting beliefs. What are some examples of limiting beliefs? I'm unlovable. True love only exists in fairy tales. There's no such thing as soulmates. Or I'll never find my soulmate. I'm not attractive, cute, sexy, or interesting enough. I'll grow old, alone. Whew, just saying those things out loud brought my entire energy down. Similar to how positive affirmations can pave the way to you getting a boyfriend, these limiting beliefs can block your way. Now, you're going to align your actions. If you're pushing out intent and energy about finding the one, then align your actions with it. Don't ignore any opportunities the universe sends your way. Keep an eye out for potential opportunities to meet new people and step outside of your comfort zone. Don't just sit around in your room. Yes, you're going to trust the universe to work its magic, but for that to happen, you have to, you got to do a little work. You got to be a little proactive. On the flip side, though, not everything is a sign from the universe. Be smart about reading the signs and don't try to read into things that just aren't there. Don't say yes or pursue someone who doesn't match the qualities you're looking for in a boyfriend. That's just you pointing the whole universe in the wrong direction. And number five, the hardest step of all is to surrender and let go. This step is tough. But you have to learn how to step back and surrender your love life to the universe. Don't obsess over specific outcomes. That's not healthy and doesn't emit any positive energy. It's also a whole other matter from visualizing your intent. Obsessing over your progress and certain outcomes shows the universe that you don't believe in manifesting. Just be open to love and your ideal partner and trust the universe to work its magic. There's no room for doubt. I know what some of you are thinking right now. I, those steps are just too vague. They're more like generic tips. Some of you might even be starting to doubt me in the process. Don't be like that. If there is ever one thing that would undo all your work that you've put into manifesting, it's having doubt. There's no place for wishy-washy feelings for anyone who wants to manifest anything. I know that a lot of these steps seem generic or vague, and it's going to just take some time. It serves as a very important like roadmap to help you visualize your goal, focus your emotions, and align your intentions with the universe. It's going to help you let go of your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions that can hold you back and block you from connecting with the universe. You need to listen to what the universe is saying. The five steps I mentioned are the core to manifesting virtually anything, not just how to manifest a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. When you follow these steps, you're laying the foundation for the universe and to build your dreams, whatever they may be. Trust me when I say manifesting is going to bring you the loving relationship you're looking for. Most importantly, trust the process and trust that the universe is going to give you what's best for you. Good luck, and I hope you find what you're looking for.